Shalom, I'm Rabbi Bonnie Scharfman, on behalf of the Jewish Community Relations Council of Greater Phoenix. We're pleased to be able to share with you this short video featuring reflections from rabbis in our community of diverse backgrounds on civility, unity, and healing following this turbulent political season. And we share this video with you at a time of change and uncertainty amidst divergent perspectives on what it means to be an American and a Jew at this juncture in time. Thank you for watching. During this election season, we have seen many walls of resentment and of animosity being built between people. Each one of us think my candidates, my party will be best for the country, best for the Jewish people, best for Israel, leaving no room for the other. Friends, after this fateful election, our country, and indeed our Jewish community will need healing. What we need in the United States now is not hatred or violence or lawlessness, but compassion and wisdom. Compassion toward one another and a feeling of justice toward those who are still suffering in our country. So the moment calls for some calm, some patience, and some thoughtful analysis. So how do we move forward as a country? How do we move forward as a community? I believe that this is a leadership opportunity for us as the Jewish community to help forge a path forward. Some claim that all this nation's many particular ethnicities divide it. There's no better time to show how ethnicity can unite us, even though we have differences as Jews among ourselves. I envision a paradoxical unity for our community, one that celebrates and respects diversity what we look like, how we practice Judaism, how we express our love for America, for Israel, and the world, a vision that embraces pluralism. But this is not some false unity. This is a true unity built upon difference. That in fact, we should passionately disagree. We should bring our differences to the table and argue respectfully. The Jewish tradition is built upon machlokit, a Talmudic discourse, of disagreement. I wonder if we might all ask ourselves, what is it about the messages that I feel so strongly about that's not resonating with all of America? Let us gather together and continue to see the good in everyone, to continue to focus on the image of God with which everyone was created with. If you're feeling angry at those with whom you disagree, imagine them as they were as infants and children. The vulnerability of babies can open us to compassion and let our anger find another home. In what way will we each individually leave the world better than we found it? And Judaism says through the acts of tikkun olam, through the acts of doing Jewish, May these words be an inspiration to us as we continue to journey toward creating a more perfect union. This is a reminder that our Jewish identity is greater than any political identity. When we as Jews, despite our differences, join forces and get behind what matters to all of us, we can be a model for a divided nation to find and focus on its own common ground as a way to move forward. Unity will come only when we can agree upon a short list of core Jewish values, those that represent the essence of being a Jew. Only then will we have a common foundation upon which to stand. But it is respect that is the antidote to the plague of intolerance. Let us respect each other, even when we disagree. May we come together to bring healing to our country and our community together. Let us see the good in each other now, today, tomorrow, and forever. May our doing Jewish spread its blessings among us and exalt our nation in righteousness. Blessings and peace for our beloved United States. May God bless America and may he keep our community united. May God bless the United States of America with peace and compassion and wisdom in the weeks to come. Thank <laughs> you.